Hello, and welcome to Imperial March Podcast, the show with the most biased opinion in the Outer Rim. I'm your host, Rocky, along with Bryce, over the film, and Seismic, over the fart. I mean, film. Film. Anyway, Not funny. <laughs> today we will be talking about why stormtroopers are very misunderstood, and our lead panelist on this topic would, of course, be Seismic Film, because, you know, he's on stormtroopers and trend oceans, so... Seismic, why don't you start today on why you think stormtroopers are misunderstood species? Well, first, they... Not species, sorry. People always say that their aim is terrible, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, no, it's not. I know. <laughs> because they... So, first scene in Star Wars. They hit everything. They storm that ship. Boom, take it over. Tentative right. 4, I think mm-hmm. it's called. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then at the end of... They, they storm Tentative 4 like it's absolutely nothing. I know. Like, they don't cr- take crap from anybody. You're just like, boom, 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 boom. And they're like total close combat, too. Like, mm-hmm. literally yeah. like five feet of their enemy, and they still own them all. What, what if the, those E-11s are, like, made for close combat? Anyway, so, so as we continue. Okay, yeah. And then... Uh, and then in that one scene after the uh, after the uh, heroes escape the Death Star, Leia says that they wanted them to escape because they put the um, the tracker thingy on the ship mm-hmm. so they could find the rebel base. Mm-hmm. They why would the stormtroopers want to kill the heroes if they want them to escape? I know <laughs> they were missing on purpose. Yeah. So, so I mean, people don't see it like that, but it's probably just me making it up but i mean if they want him to escape to track it back to their old base they wouldn't want to kill him so yeah they meant to miss i know so then they kick butt on hoth vader was only interested in obi-wan kenobi yeah and And pretty much and on hoth yeah you're right they took over they won on hoth too they weren't a bad shot return of the jedi ah just (laughs) return of the jedi i have no (laughs) that's just no because it doesn't even make any sense like, yeah, that one. They the, got beat by the, teddy bears. <laughs> no. Even after they kill the Emperor, they're like, "Yeah, the galaxy's free." They it's like not... oh, he didn't have a fleet anywhere else. Like he was the only that was the only Empire Imperial fleet left. Like I'm pretty sure there was other places that would have a people also, that would take up a brand. problem but with whatever. That. Don't don't people know that there's this is like... supposed to be the Emperor's like right hand troopers, the 501st, right? And they're supposed to be like the toughest in the galaxy, and they just like it owned. By I hate stupid evil. I hate Return of the Jedi. That's my favorite one. <laughs> no, it sucks. I hate it. Oh, it ruined makes no sense. Return it's like the worst Jedi. thing ever. It's like the worst movie. It's like the worst yeah. thing ever. No, it's like not. the killed, and well, the Emperor dies, and all of a sudden the galaxy's free. It's like there's not another well, fleet anywhere else. I'm, it makes no sense. I'm, on my opinion, I am across on the subject. Yes, I do like stormtroopers, obviously. <laughs> or else this podcast would not be about stormtroopers and that. So. But, um. <laughs> the overlord of this podcast yeah i'm the overlord <laughs> i'm the dictator no jokes there um we gotta, um, we gotta well, bryce we gotta take him over yeah good luck with that <sighs> Wait, what? i i love stormtroopers what are you talking uh, no. about oh uh, i love Storm- em- anyways em- out. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> right. anyways i like stormtroopers but uh one thing i do remember is that the emperor is the villain and the stormtroopers <laughs> are serving the is serving the emperor. The emperor is a Sith, and obviously he's yeah. evil. So they're cool. Sith are evil, <laughs> <laughs> and they serve the Sith. Obviously, we're like an off branch of the Imperial Navy. We're just sitting here. We like got tired of serving the Sith, so we just go and sit in our star destroyer, waiting for the air to run out while we talk about stuff. <laughs> Anyways, we um, pizza up our helmets. I know. <laughs> we just I don't know. so um. We're, we're stuffing space pizza up our up our helmets. Just like, oh. Yeah, there, yeah, right now. Right Somebody's uh, mic fell. Anyways, though, so I like Imperials. I love Stormtroopers, but they are certainly the bad guys. So I'm not <laughs> torn to pieces when, in Return of the Jedi when the Jedi win. Of course, are the heroes of the whole movie franchise. But um, I think they should have had the Empire go out in a more realistic way than the Ewoks, so that they could understand it. I could understand if Ewoks beat them, if. They would have done it in a far more believable way. Like, an Ewok throwing a rock at a stormtrooper. That's not supposed to hurt him. He's wearing, like, full metal plastoid body armor, like, made out of Durasteel. <laughs> and a rock hits his head, and he's like, oh, I'm unconscious. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
You hit someone with like a World War II helmet on and the head with a rock, and they're not going to go unconscious. <laughs> it hurts, but they're not going to go unconscious. And this is like in the future world. <laughs> I mean, a long time ago, but like they're super advanced. So this I will a- admit, when they when like Chewie commandeered that ATST, that was definitely a blow against the Empire. Oh yeah, because <laughs> I mean. Yeah, ATST isn't gonna do much against another ATST, yeah. especially from behind. But so, um, I think I think won if Chewie hadn't done that. Yeah, stupid Chewie. <laughs> stupid Chewie, I'm gonna turn him into a. The good guy. guys are supposed to win in the end. Right. Why did they lose? <laughs> but I mean, I uh, you know I'm into the st- story and everything. It's just like Ewok battle, no comment there. <laughs> Because I don't see that as a way. I see how people are saying, oh, well, there's aim us there. Well, apparently that Legion, or maybe it's a writing error. <laughs> but um, Stormtroopers are super tough through all of them. You're only judging them off of the Ewok battle. And that is one time in one place. And it's not the most pivotal point in the galaxy. Because if you were to watch the Tantive 4 battle, all you viewers out there, like, wa- I dare you to watch tan- the Tantive 4 skirmish in the beginning of episode 4 about five times and then tell us that that they're, that the 501st aim does not suck. Because they, because, like, from only what I've heard, like, only two Stormtroopers die. Like, three, no. pretty much. No, there's, I think, like, a few, quite a few Stormtroopers died when they stormed the Tantive. A lot of Stormtroopers died, especially on um, Endor, but... Um, no, like, oh, well, just on, on Tantive, screen. I think... Yeah. Well, on screen, like... Well, yeah, yeah, on screen, up. like, three, like... Like, you, you mean, saw three on the ground, and you one mean got in, shot. You mean on Tantive, only. Yeah, on Tantive 4. Yeah, there's, like, three who died on Tantive, so that's not very much, and, you know, you see them drag their bodies away when they're on it. Except for, you know, Princess Leia murdering that stormtrooper, but <laughs> he said stun. It wasn't gonna hurt you. He said stun. Anyway, so for those of you who get that reference. I get it. Yay, you saw a chicken there. Um yep. Set for stun. Nope. Boom. Well no, he said to stun, but she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Evil Princess Leia. Right. Rebel scum. But anyway, was... Rebel scum. So, a lot of stormtroopers scum. are good guys, and a lot of stormtroopers are misunderstood. And but um, they are the villains. But <laughs> hey, that's just Sith. Kind of Sith are the villains. The stormtroopers. Well, are I just personally their think the Jedi servants. and the Sith should just go to a random planet and battle it out for the just die off, just die off. <laughs> I know that would solve everything, but then that would no, that one, solve that one, everything. I know to send everyone who's force sensitive to that planet <laughs> and just let them just. just but then again, there. Until you actually need the Jedi. <laughs> you never need the Jedi. Uh-huh. Famous last words. But you can't really do that, because, like, if they did that, like, there would always be Jedi in the galaxy, and you wouldn't always be able to detect them all. Like, what if some guy's born on Tatooine, then, and he, like, becomes, like, a Sith? So, it's impossible to kind of track everyone. But Anyway, so, I just think Stormtroopers are misunderstood greatly in Star Wars. And, no, they do not have terrible aim. <laughs> And also, people think their armor looks dorky, but I think it looks kind of cool. You think? Who's who said that? I don't know. I was watching a video the other day, and they're like, their helmets are too big. They're like bobbleheads. I'm like, what are you talking about? It was the what? 70s. But <laughs> their helmets aren't I don't know. bobbleheads. They're war helmets, you morons. <laughs> Compared to the Contrivers, the Contrivers helmets are way too tiny. <laughs> they have, like, pinheads or something. But um, Actually, no. The Stormtrooper the just... Contriver helmets are pretty, actually, evenly sized. Phase 1 is about the right yeah. size. Phase 2 know, is like, smaller and more compact. I think they moved to... When the Stormtroopers came around, I think the helmets became bigger because, I, I don't know, more ventilation and stuff. They have a lot of gear on there. to wear them. I know. Yeah, I know. People actually had to put yeah. them on. The Stormtroopers do not look dirty. Cool. Their armor is like the coolest in the world. Give me the link to this YouTube channel. I'm going to go shoot them with a Stormtrooper blaster. <laughs> <laughs> was it another podcast? No. It was just a guy. This is an alright video, it was kind of funny, but I didn't like that part. That's what actually made me think of doing this podcast. <laughs> so I guess we should thank that person. Yeah, thank you, random person. But we hate you! I know, we hate you. <laughs> we hate you, we love you, but we hate you, but we don't love you, so. Anywho. Yeah. No. 
No. Um, I guess that's everything we had to say. How, we, this is going to yeah. be like a short podcast. Our podcasts are getting yeah. shorter. All right, just to all of you out there, I think we have a little announcement to make. I, I do. Not, I think we do? One thing, as I think, also, we're going... You do. And during this busy holiday season, we aren't going to be able to post as many podcasts as frequently, so basically it's going to be every other week for just a few weeks. Because he's lazy. I'm not lazy. I have to gish. <laughs> you want to edit? This hire you to do. Hire You're me. breaching your contract. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to be making a little bit less of a podcast here, but don't worry, we are working on a very big project, secret project, uh, um, for the podcast. And I think you're going to like it a lot. Um, Hopefully not. (laughs) And um, should should I give a little part away? No. It's about something. No, no, (laughs) no. If anyone says that, I will just erase you from history, and it will be like you never said it. Okay, so beep, 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 beep. That's yeah. what that's about. Yeah, that's all right. beep 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 <gasps> beep beep beep. All right. So um. Oh, with R two. Yeah. No, not R two. Okay, guys. <laughs> Anyways, so, so we're making a big project. We're not going to be quite as active, but we are going to be working on that. And then once that's done and that project is out of the way and all that, then we'll probably return to this because during the time that this project will be finished, we'll probably be around the time that Star Wars news starts to kick up again, and will give us. You know stuff to talk about because right now we're just kind of like, hi guys, mm-hmm. we're gonna talk Storm about Jupiter. turtles. They're kind of cool. Because you know turtles are kind of so cool. Yeah, 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 Turtle? yeah. Lab Stormtroopers are cool. Good. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, okay, no, 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 I have a a great new outro. What? Subscribe, you rebel scum. No. <laughs> We do not recruit rebel scum. <laughs> if you're a rebel scum, you will be blocked and thrown into a rancor pit. All right. <clears throat> All right. So thanks so much for watching and subscribe. All together now in one and a two and one two three to join the Imperial Army today. And you guys do not say it with me, you moron. So, subscribe to join the Imperial Army today. Imperial Army today. So terrible at this. Yay, we are so Which terrible. Good. It's like I'm glad we have our legions of fans that can watch this. You know, the, to you... Are we still recording? Yes. Oh, God. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're laughing live. Don't you feel terrible now? You should feel totally embarrassed as all these people, all these three people will hear you. True. <laughs> That's counting us, too. But to you three people out there who actually watch our stuff and comment... Mostly to the people who comment. I know there are quite a few people who like and don't comment. But to the people who comment, commenting means a lot to us. And we thank you for that. And we try to reply to each and every one of you. So, thank you so much for your comments. And I I'm gonna, we, should, we should really end this podcast. We're rambling now. All right. Subscribe to join the Imperial Army again. Today. Today. To join the Imperial Army today. I'm moving the microphone.